Hey, this is Hardline Destructoid's video game news podcast. My name is Jordan DeVore, and today I'm joined by Brett Makadonski. Hey, everyone. And Bill Zoker. Salami Puggy, or whatever Stephen would say. Oh, <laughs> that's what I should have said. Ciao, amiga. amiga. We all should have said that. Weird <laughs> gibberish. So, yeah, so Steven's not here. He may randomly appear. We don't know where he is. He's missing in action, but uh, we're going to do it anyways. We have a few things to talk about. I guess the first one we'll go with is uh, Resident Evil is getting remade again, uh, this time for uh, all the current gen systems, uh, as well as P uh, PS3, Xbox 360. Uh, yeah, I don't know if any of you, did any of you play, re uh, what do they call it, remake on GameCube? I didn't. How about you, I, I I didn't. I played the first one enough when it came out. Okay. I played maybe 15 minutes of Remake, emulated on a PC, and then I was like, yeah, this is pretty cool. I don't want to play it emulated on PC. It feels weird using a 360 controller when it's it wasn't really meant to be in that version. Uh, so I'll probably want to get this when it comes out uh, next year. But... Uh, I don't I, I don't know if the GameCube remake had this, but I know that some of the GameCube Resident Evils they did had where it's like you have defensive weapons and you have to burn the zombies when they're dead, and it's like what? Why? Just let me well, kill the zombies. Well, they have the thing. I forget what you call them, and I know people are going to be screaming that I don't know the name. It's like uh, if you if you leave the zombies a lot, if you I don't even know. I'm probably going to botch this completely explaining it, but there's something to do with uh, zombies can come back. Yeah. Red and they'll be really, really hard to take down. So you never want that to happen, and that is sounds terrifying if they do. Uh, so you can like, I guess, dispose of them properly, and that won't happen. But so that's that's actually again, that sounds scary. Why can't I just? Uh, why not just stomp their brains out? Why do I have to set them on fire? You want to do the Gears Three curb stomp? Sure. Or even even or the dead space just stomp on everything. Or, or the Resident explodes. Evil where you where they stomp on zombies' heads all the time. Um, <laughs> like that's not new. That, the burning thing is a mechanic that the Evil Within has. You have to you have to pretty much burn every zombie that you uh, that you kill, is or it? else I, or it, it you run the risk of it coming back and hmm. being there again. So you have to use the shitty combat system to re-kill it. I thought the main feature. <laughs> I thought the main feature of Evil Within was that everyone already lost interest in it. Ooh. No, people are people at least on yeah. Detoid readers are into it. Some of them still, and they're not into me not being into it. <laughs> I, you know, I have I've heard you aren't the only one who hasn't had great things to say about it. So I don't know, but uh, I mean, this is not at all surprising that Capcom is doing this again because they need. Didn't they just have a fiscal uh, earnings call and they were like, we had no games, but we still did okay. So I feel like they need a lot of games. They need to um, bring us back in. You you said that it's not surprising that Capcom's doing it. Are you, are you going to be surprised if any publisher remakes any game ever from this no, point? No, <laughs> not at all. That's kind of the expectation at this point. Yeah, I we love just had Last of Us. Um I love that when the new the new systems are coming out, you know the executives are like, nobody cares about backwards compatibility. Nobody plays the old games. I know. We're gonna bring them all back. <laughs> like I know you're just they, for going they care, backwards compatibility they care, to sell a game again. They care about it as long as they can resell it to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's, in some cases, that's a good thing. We, we I think we all agree that so. Mass Effect has been brought up, at least by fans, as something we want, and I, us three, I think, all want that too, because that game could actually use a remake, especially the first one. Uh, it's kind of dated looking. Yeah, but beyond that, like... tighter controls. The, yeah, the first one could use some, some tweaks on the mechanics, but I feel, you know, like, are they going to do that, or is it just going to be a paint job? You know, yeah. speak, for yourself, speak for yourself, Jordan, I absolutely don't want that, um... I've spent <laughs> I've spent like hundreds of hours on the Mass Effect games. I'm not going to replay those. I, <laughs> I have I have my perfect Paragon Shepard, and uh, oh, wow. I have I have full gamer score across all three games. I uh, I ended up having to play Mass Effect one three times. I'm not putting <laughs> any more. I'm not putting any more time in. I Shepard don't Trilogy. blame you. I only played the first. I only played all of them once, so I didn't even go for the alternate. You know. The evil, the renegade playthrough. So, and I also forgot like eighty percent of the plot for all of them. So, I have a terrible memory. 
I, I would be down for that. Um, what else? I feel like there's other things that Uncharted was brought up as something that might get uh, brought to PS4. I would not be surprised. I had no, no interest in that personally. I do not care for that series. But I, I feel like I feel like that's more of a matter of time than anything else. Um, I, I think when I think when we get a little bit closer to Uncharted 4 coming out, they're gonna put that out maybe sort of like they did the Master Chief Collection, like a year ahead of time kind of drum up hype again, get everybody that might not have had a chance to do it on PS3, give them a chance to do it on PS4, and then boom, mega sales for Uncharted 4. You bring up the Master Chief Collection. I am still astounded at how much I actually want that because I was not the biggest uh, Halo fan by far. Yeah, I was going to say, the Master Chief Collection, what I like about that is they're actually like putting some effort into making it interesting. and that's just... Oh, yeah. Lots of... Have you seen... Well, besides just retaining the multiplayer and all that, that will be fun, but... The the new cutscenes look incredible. Yeah, I think Blur, the animation studio Blur, has done <laughs> them or is doing them. Just looks so good. And the fact that you yeah. can uh, like mix and like you make playlists of levels from Halo games and mix them all together. Yeah, like, they're really going all out. You could skip all the crap you don't want, or at least just <laughs> tie Halo Two into Halo Three and not feel like you got cheated again. Um, I think my favorite publisher's uh, approach to this is Square Enix, who they take games that were commercial failures at last gen, <laughs> they, they, put a, they put a little bit more work into them, making them for current <laughs> consoles, and they try to make them profitable. Uh, I, Tomb Raider. You know, I, I was just going to say, I still cannot believe I mean, I can because it's Square Enix, but that is that seems so unnecessary, that, that re-release for Tomb Raider. And I, I quite like the game, but um, I think I think it serves two purposes. The first one is, you know, like I said, they get to bridge that gap between commercial failure and commercial moderate success by yeah. picking up picking up a few extra sales. Um, on the other hand, we know that a to new Tomb Raider is in the pipeline. Uh, they've said that a new Sleeping Dog is in the pipeline. You by re-releasing them on these consoles, you don't really give gamers the option of saying, "Well, you know, I didn't get to play it last gen, so I'm not going to do the sequel." They have this readily available to them. They can they can pick up the definitive edition of either of those games for probably pretty cheap going forward, and then they're like, "Oh, fuck yeah, Sleeping Dogs was a cool game. I'll play Sleeping Dogs too." I, yeah, I I will say that. I mean, Tomb Raider didn't do amazing for them. I think it well. At launch, anyway, it has come around. But Sleeping Dogs, I feel like, is a game not enough people played. So yeah, you do have a point there. Yeah, a lot of these I, games I, are are only not successful, quote unquote, because they put so much budget into it and expect yeah. to sell so much, and then they yeah. But Sleeping Dogs definitely, I feel like, kind of slipped under the radar too much. Mm -hmm. Um, it's kind of weird to say that a game slipped under the radar when both Sony and Microsoft gave it out for free. <laughs> and literal, literally anyone with access to those to those subscription plans or whatever could download them and play them. Well, um, yes, that 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 helps. I feel like since Sleeping Dogs has been out, like it's generated generated a lot more of like a cult buzz, like word of mouth type thing. So I, I think that it could sell on on the new consoles, but we'll see. I guess. Mm -hmm. Assassin's Creed. I I for, screw transitions. Yeah, let's just get go, to it. going going. <laughs> Going from, uh, you know, <laughs> going from, hey, you can buy all the last, all the, all the games from the last console on this one, so you can just sell your old console, and then Ubisoft's like, no, wait, don't sell it. We've got a new game for you. You know who's rehashing their old games, but in a different way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we have two Assassin's Creeds. We have uh, what is it? Unity is the current gen, the PS4, Xbox One game, and then Rogue. The new, it, it, they just now announced it properly, right? Yeah, um, there was that rumor ever, around GDC that there was yeah. going to be two. Okay, it was it was announced. code it was codenamed Comet for a long time. Oh, okay, because we yeah we've known we've known there was going to be another game for a while, but so we got we, so we got the details this week. Um, Brett Brett is the one who knows about this series more than us, I think. Yeah, I do. It's it's kind of my it's kind of my Call of Duty, like my shameless game that uh, a lot of people <laughs> a lot of people will give you hell for liking, but you just you just can't stop liking it. And it's popular kind of for a reason. Um, so, want me to go into detail about Rogue? Yeah, yeah. J give us the overview, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'll just um, take Rogue sounds like it's going to take place in the mid 18th century during the Seven Years' War in the uh, the northeastern part of North America. 
Um, you play as Shay something Cormac. I don't I don't remember his name. He's he's Irish, I think. And he was a member of the Assassins Brotherhood until a mission went terribly wrong. But hold on, he's not he's he, not Irish. He's bad voice actor Irish. <laughs> what, what do you mean by distinction? <laughs> the the accent in that trailer is like I could have done a better accent, and I could not have done a good accent. I think they're getting help for that about Unity too, aren't they? <laughs> Probably. Are they? <laughs> With the French accents. Anyway, so... How is this it even dude... possible? Ubisoft is French. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so he is... Oh, yeah, he was a member of the Brotherhood until something went terribly wrong during a mission, and then he left the Brotherhood, and I think maybe the assassins don't take kindly to you leaving the Brotherhood of, of traveling pants, and then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then he joined the Templars, and so the 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 catch for this game is you're a Templar and you're fighting assassins for once. How interesting! Ugh. Okay, so I agree, um, with Bill. But uh, <laughs> so here's my question: is having not really, I guess I I have played some, but not I have never beaten any of these games. Uh, do they ever make the Templars like? Are they just stereotypical, they're evil, you have to kill them? Or do, they, do you ever empathize with their cause? Because is that something they could pull off here, realistically? Or do you think they're going to fail at that? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's um, no shame. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll offer like a new perspective, a new point of view as to you know something that makes the Templars more relatable. Um, the the big catch for this one is that they're kind of going back to the Assassin's Creed for Black Flag naval stuff. Um, it kind of well, it so. kind of it kind of sounds like they're using the same engine and the same uh, at least they have a lot of the same assets and stuff. Like it, I guess. Uh, but uh, some of the screenshots look really good. They're like up north. You can see like the uh, the northern lights and uh, there's some penguins and penguins. That I'll, was... I'll, I'll fucking boycott this game if you kill penguins. I love <laughs> penguins are. They're my Maxis raccoon. <laughs> I love I love penguins. Uh, yeah, I don't uh, know how you could possibly kill them. That would be tragic. I'm just imagining Brett becoming the penguin from Batman now, and I can kind of see it. <laughs> Man, the penguin in Batman has twisted the, the cuteness of that animal in obscene ways. I think Danny DeVito is adorable. So oh well, I'm glad someone <laughs> does. <laughs> I, I think he's adorable when he's not the penguin. <laughs> <laughs> he's so gross um, in that movie. Anyway, back but, to uh, Akashian's Creed. Rogue doesn't look all that great, in my opinion. I guess we'll get to play it at Gamescom next week, and uh, <laughs> maybe it'll be a little bit more redeeming than just initial stuff shows. I'm way more interested in Unity. Uh, what I saw of that at E3 was... So, what's, what are, like, what's, what's the thing that makes that good... And this not good. Unity? Yeah. Uh, just the way that Paris looks and just kind of all the all the revolution stuff going on, the crowds and just kind of the descent okay. looks it looks really fascinating. Uh they have a new climbing system, which I'm skeptical as to whether it'll work because we haven't gotten hands on with it yet, but you can uh you can descend doing parkour stuff the same way that you can kind of ascend doing parkour stuff. So it's sort of uh it's supposed to be more fluid, and they talk about revamping the combat system and all that. And I'll mm. hold my breath to see whether that actually happens, but uh, I don't know. U Unity just looks better. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah, so Gamescom is... Is that next week? It is. Is that next weekend? It's, yeah, uh, you and Dale will be there. It's kind of it's kind of more more time than that because I think Microsoft's doing all their stuff on like Tuesday and maybe Sony is too. So press conferences happen early, and then I th mm. think that maybe press gets a couple days at the show, and then I think it's open like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or something like that. When like uh, hundreds of thousands of people descend on it, yeah. Um, I I did a quick wikipedia check if you if you believe what that site has to tell you and i think last year it had three hundred and fifty thousand or something oh my like god that. um and i've heard it's like a greenhouse it's just like <laughs> the, like there's like a glass <laughs> ceiling the colon mass or however you say it and this is just what i've heard and the sun just beats down and there's like three hundred and fifty thousand people in a giant room hanging out 
and people are like fainting left and right because it's so hot and terrible and smelly. And <laughs> I, I would be an... never willingly go to this uh, event. There's going to be an but... uprising, and somebody throws a rock at the ceiling, and then everyone like breathes deep <laughs> the fresh air. We're free. <laughs> Um, can you even imagine how long those lines would be for some of these games i i mean i can but i i would never want to wait in that yeah i mean well we see it at other shows like pax prime a couple years ago right before borderlands 2 came out they had uh as soon as the show floor opened for the day their queue was full for the rest of the day like a 10-hour queue to see borderlands 2 three weeks before the game came out (laughs) (laughs) of all the games to see that (laughs) people will wait astoundingly long times just to see their favorite games which is that's cool i guess i wouldn't stand in a line for 10 hours if you if you care that much about it awesome for you i usually don't I don't want to go when I have an appointment to do my job to see it, and I don't have to wait in line. <laughs> oh, uh, so, I mean, we could... Uh, there's been a few teasers ahead of Gamescom. There's been... There was that weird Sony one with the... It's like a snowflake and blood, and that seems to be this game called Until Dawn, which is sort of like this teen horror thing, but a game version of that for PlayStation with PlayStation Move. So we don't know if that is the same thing now or if that's even what the teaser's for. Is that the thing that Dale wrote up a preview of like three years ago? Yes, yes. <laughs> it seriously is years old and hasn't been acknowledged since. It seemed oh. funny at the time, so I don't know. Uh, it it maybe. I mean, it, that would be a cool game to have. And presumably it would be retooled for PS4 because uh, the system wasn't around when it was when it was shown originally so uh um, and there's that bioware one too real quick going back to what was it until dawn yeah yeah does that kind of have like any sort of components of like maybe alan wake or something because just from what you said like teen horror movie kind of makes me think of like a kitschier alan wake or not at all uh i don't know i don't know i think originally uh, I, I, I only kind of skimmed it recently, so I can't really remember the details. But if I remember right, it's like so. It's like a teen, maybe like a slasher movie. It's like a it's like a teen horror movie of some kind. And I think you play as every character, and you can I don't know. You try not to get killed by whoever the whoever's killing everyone. So that's that's pretty and much everything like, ever. <laughs> well, when you when I put it like that, yes, but. I, I guess, yeah. This just makes I me guess wish I... that that uh, Cabin in the Woods Left for Dead crossover had happened. Oh my god, yes. It kind of, it does remind me a little bit of that, but more... Interesting. Less, less self-referential, I guess. Yeah, that yeah, would have been awesome, that, that game. I'm yeah. Sad, yeah, I'm sad that it never happened. I love that movie so much. Uh, Bioware, who the hell knows what that is. Yeah. It's, like, it's been weird live action teasers the whole way through. Well, I didn't see that recent one Brett posted, but tell me they're um, not gonna actually gonna call this game. You've been chosen. It no, there's no way. That's gotta just be. I, I haven't been watching the teaser. I only saw the first teaser. I haven't kept watching. But every time they pop up, it's you've been chosen, and then te- name of the that'll, teaser. That'll be the dumb tagline for the game. Yeah, or something. probably. Yeah, um, yeah. I yeah. Well, nobody knows what's going on here. The last there... one was some girl was walking through a field and keeps saying it's not my fault, and then it pans out to show a uh, Robin like Williams a... saying it's not your fault. <laughs> I made I made that I made that joke in the uh... headline. <laughs> don't think I didn't. Don't think I didn't go okay, there. Just um, want to make sure. There's like a like an asteroid or something that just leveled a house in the middle of a neighborhood, and she's looking at it saying it's not your fault or it's not my fault. And she's uh, looking at her black materia. It's not my fault. She, uh, there is joke. a ton of ta- of talk going on in the comments about this girl's ears, because they're <laughs> kind, they're kind of like pixie-ish, elfish, and they're all everyone's everyone wants to know if that's like just the actress, like how how her ears look. She's or, like born with that. Yeah, that's a thing you can be born with. Or if uh, or if it's like marketing for the game and it's going to have something to do with it. So I, I'm kind of getting a Secret World vibe from some of these, but I don't know that that's what this will end up being like. Uh, I did like that first teaser with the guy whose head was smoke. 
That was kind of cool. <laughs> that was I'm guessing that's cool. like not. It's too cool to be in the game, probably though. Uh, reminds me of one of those. Think. Reminds me of one of those commercials where uh, some guy tries buying a pack of cigarettes and he's like, "That's not enough, man. He has to like, oh my god, hey, pull out was, one of his teeth or whatever and give it to him." Disturbing, <laughs> man. They those are disturbing. I'm like. I always wish I could just verify that I don't smoke, so I never have to see those. <laughs> they also have the really those those ones are like not too graphic, but they have the ones with real like sur cancer survivors or whatever. Oh yeah. Oh god. Oh, too much. Meth meth commercials are pretty uh, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> why don't they well, ever I have? Mean... Why don't they ever have like cheeseburger commercials where it's just a really morbidly obese person? <laughs> They can get the guy from what is it like my six hundred pound life or something? Yeah. That that's show. Just, you think McDonald's just, is a good idea? <laughs> that's, that's just America, man. You can go outside, you can see that. Yeah, it's like, it's like a real life commercial all the time. Yeah, maybe. Well, maybe. Uh, you know, forty years from now, that will be the PSAs will be about fast food <laughs> and, and, and terrible food. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I guess we're done. That yeah. sounds Steven, good to me, right? Steven never made it with his... He never punch. did. He's gonna show up, he he's gonna... We're, we're recording earlier than usual today, he's gonna show up in 15 minutes, like, so okay, I'm ready. <laughs> we should make him do next week's show by himself, yes. so we get the week off. And then we can sell it as a uh, sleep aid. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Steven. I love you, Steven. He's not going to listen to this. No, you don't not. have to apologize. Okay, so thanks for listening if you made it this far. Uh, you can find this on iTunes as well. If you search for Destructoid Hardline, you can, you should, you can and you should look at other videos on our channel, uh, youtube.com slash detoid. I know Max is still gone. Bill's at his uh, house. Yeah. I don't, what do you, what do you, what have you been doing? So, the vlog stuff still? I, I, yep. Actually, the past couple days we haven't had any videos because Tuesday, oh, okay. Tuesday I had a preview event, and yesterday I had a bunch of like real stuff I had to take care of. Like I booked my PAX flight finally and stuff like that. Um, but this is going up today, and then tomorrow I will have a video of that preview that I saw. So stay tuned for that. Can you what tell us it? what it is? Or you can tell us what it is. Can I? I don't know. I'm new to this. A killing you Floor 2. You should be able to. What is it? Killing Floor 2. Oh yeah, that's even been that's already been announced. So yeah, so, no big deal. So that's okay. I'm, that's gonna be a good one because I'm yeah. scary stuff, kids. Spooky. They finally made a sequel to the game after it got like five thousand updates. So that's good. <laughs> hey, they kept it alive. Good on them. That's only a slight exaggeration. I, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm good for them for keeping it around. They just put an update out around the uh, Fourth of July or so. Yeah, so... It actually, uh, I guess ties the story to the second one which i was like there's a story uh, yeah i don't know about that but i was like to shoot the zombie side it's real good new one the new one looks graphically cool so visually uh graphically yeah cool. graphically i i didn't want to imply like graphic violence is what i was saying the the visual fidelity looks nice over a game that's like how how well, i don't even know how old the first one is but anyway, uh, thanks for listening. We will be back. Well, we'll probably be back next week. Probably. Brett won't be I back. I won't. I'll see you guys in two weeks. We may or may not be back. We'll see. Because if it's just me and Bill, we're not doing this no. shit. Hell no. <laughs> these, two, these two hate each other. I'm the... I'm the <laughs> <laughs> we need a third party moderator to keep us... I'm, a, yeah, I'm, I'm the pure meeting each other. As soon as soon as as soon as we cut off the air, they're just gonna yell at each other. Yes, yeah, it gets ugly. I'm gonna pull out Jordan's hair at PAX. <laughs> I'd like to see you try, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> you totally could. <laughs> All right, let's end this show. Consider it Bye. ended. Bye.